Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, wanted to do a year-end silver update, and uh, as you can see here, we're just in the process of breaking out of a uh, real short-term pennant formation. Looks like uh, we're going to try to head through 31. Not sure. We could go down. There's still some time left in the year, but uh, looks like uh, everyone's trying to get on the silver bandwagon last day of the year. You know how the uh, fund managers operate you know they they want to be able to say they owned the best asset of the year and of course that's silver um, let's take a look here we're looking at 83.5 83.6% uh, the return for the year for silver as you can see nothing even comes close uh, there might be some stocks here and there uh, but uh, Silver is the absolute winner for the year of 2010. I expect it to be the same thing for uh, 2011. Looks like they're going to do some new highs here. Yep, going to new highs. So we may take out 31. Who knows, maybe even run to 32. Just a wonderful year. Wanted to congratulate everyone who is long. Uh, stay long and strong. And uh, don't listen to the paid bashers, the shills. Uh, the trolls, uh, the nadlers, and all the rest of them, because they're wrong. They've been wrong uh, a decade running, and they're wrong again this year. So hopefully they're going to throw in the towel, but they probably won't. Um, so yeah, just a fantastic year. Um, had a interesting article over at Zero Hedge. I uh, got posted today. Will silver be worth more than gold? perspectives on a coming silver shortage and uh, you can go over and read that I'll link it um, they featured the video uh, the recent video by Vision Victory I don't know if you've seen it uh, it's a it's, it's a really good it really well produced video and of course uh, a lot of the posters are bashing him for not having his facts straight he Apparently called it a Cadillac instead of catalytic converter and implied that there was silver in it instead of palladium. Anyway, it's uh, you know nitpicking, uh, basically. It's an excellent video. I highly suggest you watch it. I'll go ahead and link this too. Um, then I also wanted to point out to you uh, the interview that uh, Eric King just did with James Turk. Uh, you want to go over and, and do a listen over there. Um, James Turk is just a fantastic, level-headed, uh, just great interview. The guy, I, I have so much respect for him. And he has, uh, he has called for uh, $50 silver next year. And um, he just expects it to keep going up. He's looking for $8,000 gold. And I'm uh, assuming maybe 10 to 115 I don't know, five to $800 silver. So... I'm looking for $500 silver in the next few years. Don't even want to think about touching it until it hits that point. Um, there's just no, there's no reason to even, uh, even think about selling it. Um, so, we just want to keep stacking, and uh, it looks like, uh, looks like they're doing a little uh, late day raid here. So, it's going to be interesting to see where we end out the year. Um, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, if we get a lower price, that's uh, cheaper silver to buy. Uh, if we get a higher price, uh, that's just more money we make. So all I can say is everybody keep stacking, and we'll see you in 2011.